Figures are an important part of each paper, so I'll now show you how to add figures in Flix. I added a new section for this, and first what I have to do is to insert a figure float. So this, this float is just a placeholder, so I have a place where I can put graphics, I have a, a caption, a numbered caption, a place for a, um, actual caption text. So I'll first uh, write something as a caption, then I will add the actual graphic file. So I click insert and then graphics. Here I can choose path to the image file. It's a good practice to have an image folder in the same directory as your leaks file. So I'll insert this nice Lena color photography. And uh, here I can set um, dimensions of an image. So I will first uh, insert my image unchained, so it's huge. And now I can change it, for example, to the height of three centimeters. And although nothing has changed here in the leaks editor window, if we we'll see the preview of the PDF file, uh, well, the image actually has the height of three centimeters. Now, figures are usually centered, so uh, in order to center our Lena image, I place cursor right after the image and I change the paragraph settings, uh, namely I set alignment to center. So now the image is centered. And there is also one more important thing. Mm, it's, uh, mm, it's required that uh, each figure is referenced in the text. So what I do is I first insert a label for this image. Um, I will call it Lena. And now uh, I can refer to this image in text. So, for example, I add here, please see um, figure. Mm, then I insert hard space and, and put here cross reference to the figure Lena. And I change the format of the reference to a normal. Um, normal plane number without any uh, decoration. Right, so now let's see uh, what are the effects of our work. I will now see the preview of the PDF file and well, here it is. You can see figure one and the reference is uh, correctly processed.